these debilitating comments about the way they look physically or their content. And I thought, wow, if I was 16 and someone wrote that to me, it would be a, it would be a lot. It's a lot. So um, I, I would like to advise you all, if you make videos, you know, read them. But I always say this. You might have heard me say, you know, don't let the praise go to your head and don't let the mean things go to your heart. Because really, it has nothing to do with you. People, are, you know, you know, it's nice when people say nice things. That, you know, you're great, you're wonderful, whatever. But, you know, it doesn't, it, you know. But when people write, you're horrible, I hate you, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. So please don't take that to heart. You know, please, you know, make videos on YouTube. Don't be discouraged. It's, it's, I, it's the most wonderful place in the world, as you can see, because you're all here. It is. It's the most wonderful place. It is. Personally, uh, it's the most wonderful place. And in terms of launching a career, whether it would, no matter what the types of videos you make, it is the most outstanding platform in the world. As they said earlier, it's like the number three, number four website. The whole thing about the Google search. I mean, it's, it's, I can't talk about it enough about how the opportunity is there for so many wonderful things. Yeah, I really feel like there's, a, there's something bigger coming. And you know, it's hard not to feel that when you're sitting in this room. And it's already so big and so amazing, but like, could it, could it get bigger? Like, well, what's I, gonna I, happen? I think so. I mean, in all the changes, I mean, it changes every year, it changes every minute. They have so many teams of people. That's why it was really cool in the opening, opening remarks to hear the things they're doing. So it's only getting better, and people are only getting more skilled and better editing and better videos, and the, the quality has just increased so much every year. So yes, and and, and the, the rev share is increasing every year. So I mean, there, it's just there's so many opportunities. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. I mean, really, really. So what makes you uh, happiest about YouTube? Oh my God, I, I could just talk for like 30 minutes about what makes me happiest about YouTube. Um, every, honestly, I, I love everything about the site. I love the people. I love the community. I love the other YouTubers who have been so nice to me. I've always, um, uh, you can only be as famous and successful by yourself. Um, you know, I said this last night at something, but very few YouTubers are very famous or very successful without any help from other YouTubers. And I've been so fortunate that along the way that people at the top level, like Lisa Nova, like Sexy Phil, like the Vlog Brothers, um, have really promoted me and helped me. And you know, this is Buck, he's in Nults. They've always said nice things about me and they've always made videos. Check out Michael Buckley. And, and then the people, even not the high subscriber, people who I see these videos. So I mean, the kindness around me, it's just honestly, it's so, that's what my success, it's not, you know, 30 year old gay guy making videos, making fun of Miley Cyrus. Who gives a crap? I mean, honestly, that's only going to get you so far. I mean, the thing that has made me successful is the kindness of the YouTube community. And that's why I do so many collab videos. And I did Buck Factor last fall because I, I want to promote. I want to help. I want to, I would love to, you know, anybody to get the happiness and success that I have gotten from YouTube. I mean, I wish it upon everybody because honestly, it, my life is so, you know, when you're little and you think, what's my life going to be like? It, you, the, and now I'm living, um, you know, I, I'm born. You know, I'm sorry, but I did YouTube for two years. I was working full time. It was weird because back in the day, people were like, how does Buck have a job? Because he makes a lot of videos. Well, let's just say for the last two years of my job, I should have been fired. Oh my God, are they watching? Hi, Live Nation is the live stream. I sat there and I like was on YouTube replying to comments and people thought, they're like, you must have people replying. I'm like, no, I'm replying to comments. Um, but literally I did it for 50 hours a week for two years, didn't make a dime, just loved it. And now here four years later, you know, this is all I do for a living and it, it just, it blows my mind. And, and every day is so nice to wake up and log onto YouTube and make a video. And I sit there and you see me, I'm about to go and I'm not like, oh, I have to make a video. I'm like, oh my God, this is awesome. I'm going to make a video. Like the joy and the happiness is the same four years later. It's more, it's more. So is there, is there more? Can you do more? Do you want oh, to do more? Oh, sure. Well, I'm just enjoying it. I mean, it's funny when people are like, what's next? What are you going to do? I'm not a big idea guy. I'm really not. I mean, there's some people on the site like Rhett and Link or uh, Mystery Guitar Man who just, they have so many skills and they have so much ability. And I'm not that. I mean, I, I'm really cute. You know, I'm real. <laughs> no, no. no. But I mean, I love comedic writing. I mean, that's what I'm, I do what I'm good at and I enjoy that. I enjoy writing and being comedic and then posting the video. I wish I had more skills. It's funny when I used to do interviews back in like 08 or 09, they'd be like, what are your regrets? And I'd always be like, I have no regrets um, because I didn't want to put it out to the universe, but I'm putting it out there now because I'd like to be accountable and you can tweet me and ask. 
Um, I definitely want to increase my skills. I've, I've literally been on the site for four years and I have not learned to edit or I've not learned to do anything other than what I'm doing because literally it takes all those hours. I sit down, I write, it takes six hours, eight hours. It takes a long time to write. People always ask what takes the longest. It takes the longest to write. It takes me hours to write and then I sit and I film and then I edit it and then I post it and promote it for like three or four hours and then the day's done. So to, I would like to budget time, you know, so I'm hold me accountable. Like I would like to spend two hours a day and learn more skills and get better at editing and, you know, do a song parody, do something fun, creative, but, you know, being what the buck is, you no, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> Are you horrified? Am I talking too fast? I'm sorry. You were talking the right I just speed. want to hug you all. That, that brings up a professional question here. A how, professional question, how, yes. How, Dear how, Buck is here. How professional. I do advice, too. I have a degree in psychology. I'll, I'll ask for some advice in a second. Go ahead. How do you do one take videos. Uh, well, it's you know what, impossible. I practiced it. You know what, I just, when I used to do it, I literally only had such a, when I was filming at a public access studio, which is, for those of you who don't know, that's how I started. Back in 2005, I went down to the local public access and started filming one hour a week live. And I would just talk with my female co-host, Kristen, and we just talked for an hour. And I would prepare for 12 hours. I would write scripts. I didn't know if 12 people were watching it. I didn't know if 12,000 people were watching it, but I took it very seriously. Um, and um, I just got used to standing there and I would have a script on, I would write it all out, handwrite, you know, on big cue cards. I would handwrite it because I thought that's what they were doing on like SNL, SNL. And I would stand there and my cousin Jane or Ben would, you know, move the cue cards. And I literally had a half an hour and I would film five segments. So I had to do it. I'm like, I just got took a deep breath and went bam. And so that's what I, I very rarely, not to be like, oh, I'm so great. I do, I rarely make mistakes. Like I'm just, I'm good at reading and I'm just, so I'm just, well, for four years, that's all I've been doing. And when you do make mistakes, it's hilarious. I swear and I curse and I yell at my dogs. <laughs> I used to film, my dogs used to be downstairs and they'd start barking and I'd scream, mother and buddy. And sometimes I would keep it. And now they're at, they're in my office now when I'm filming. So it's so, like they'll be licking my feet and I'll be like, I'm just not gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep going. And you can lick my foot and maybe I'll annotate later. My dog is licking my foot, you know. <laughs> Shout out to annotations, one of the best YouTube inventions ever. Woo! What did we all do before annotations? The worst thing was when you'd make a video and then you'd be like, you have to go back. Oh, I have to pull this because I have to say it wrong now. Like, I'll annotate it. Ooh, I made a mistake or I said something wrong or, you know, typo. Yeah, YouTube. I love annotations. Me too. I made a whole video series nice. based on them. Sexy. What? That's just... I can't talk like you oh, all the time. I do I on my video blogs. I it's totally tough. talk more like that. Do I talk like I do on my videos? It's, it's I you turn do. on the game. My gay exactly has fluctuated the over the years. If you watch 06, 07, 08, 09, 010 buck, it's like sometimes